Hey guys, we're doing uh, the final part of uh, Knights of Terraphoisia. This is the final part of the main game. There's still a bonus level, which is, of course, a standalone download. Come over here to the right and pick up some revolver ammo. And in this level, there will be a boss, a boss fight. In fact, we were going to the boss right now. That is the first thing that we do. And uh, he will shoot bolts at you and other crazy stuff. And we are looking for somewhere, we're first working for this lever. And uh, yeah, this is a very difficult level. And you can see the spider up there, just to come up for air for a sec. Just for a very small amount of time so he doesn't keep getting you. You can now come up here. And that lever, what I think it did is it lowered this, so it can push this button. Now you can't get you can't get your guns out now, so you have to uh, find another I uh, find another way. Come on, Lara. You have to find a different way to uh, kill the boss. It's not that hard to kill. However, he will shoot bolts at you. missing with most of them so it doesn't really matter. Oh you got me. As soon as you press the button, move. Now you have plenty of time to uh, do this. Now uh, you're safe here, so we might as well save. Pick up this, and then hide for a second. So now it's a running jump and grab this. Push this button. And that will sell us some like balls, which is how we're going to kill the uh, huge spider. So we've already pressed this button, but now we want to go off using that ladder. Climb up the ladder. And, it's, and then uh, you'll find an open door. Pull this lever, this chain, I mean, and you'll hear. The uh, spider as it dies. It also raised this so we can get back up. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. So climb up here. Push the button. Mm. 
And now we will be able to grab some artifacts that are in the water. That last ball actually knocked them into the water. This one here, you may have to turn to uh, grab it because of the uh, spike boulder. But, you know, Sailor B. There's also another one in the water too. Come on. Come on. Behave. There's another one right here. We need both of them. And now we can leave this area. So this level is called Balance Towers. And we are going to have to go back to uh, Algara's mansion again. To go back to the other area of Balance Towers. Because uh, you can't go to where we place that from here. It's in this level. And actually, uh, this is the pond, this is the river, or well, the water that we saw earlier. But let's swim through here. If you go uh, to the left there, you see it. it leads to a uh, closed gate. And I will show you where that gate is. It leads to the other area, but it's closed. And we, and we won't be opening it to the end, until the end of the level. It just creates a shortcut. But anyway, we go back to the area where we were, where I said we, we are coming back to, which is through here, down the slope, and to the left. This level is um, quite short. And uh, that boss was not that bad that we just killed. It's not that hard, even though it looks hard. And we can now again get our weapons out. You can't get your weapons out when you're uh, defeating the boss, otherwise it will uh, ace, you won't get them out, and B, it will give you a bug. So you might recognise this area from the first video. Well, that's said that we are coming back here, and, and now is the time. So, and uh, yeah, this this chevalier is almost done. before uh, leave any suggestions in the comments put, put your uh, thingy the two artifacts combine the uh, two fragments to get Algara stone place it on top of this it's like the uh, trident puzzle in Team Red 4 well, that's going to open up the door over there. Now remember to the left and to the right there is some uh, water you can see below. That's the water that we was just in. So this whole level kind of connects. Which is what I like about it. So come through here. Push this button and it's going to, and this is going to be uh, an elevator. Take it all the way up. So just 
just wait for this to go up. You can see it's been going up there, and uh, once it's up, it can spin off. So now it's time to use this zip line. Whee! So pull up here. I'll take off this box of uh, shotgun ammo. And now go up to the other side. So, come up here, and there's going to be an explosion. It spawns three of these dogs. There's going to be a lot of enemies now, and there's going to be a few more enemies that spawn at some point. They spawn at the end of the uh, music track. Now I can't hear the uh, track when I'm doing the commentary, but when I'm playing the game I can, because I'm doing the commentary uh, separately. So, push this button, and this is where the uh, thing spawned for me the first time I played. Come on. For this, and as soon as you see the screen explode, they will spawn. And here we go, you can see the lizards now. So let's get up the users and just bang them both in the head. I'm not going to be using the pickles, I don't think. There's no point in using them anymore. No, no, don't get that. These pickles are not allowed. Let's use the shotgun ammo. So, all the ammo that we've accumulated is going to be used now. Let's try this level a bit faster. So, press the cross onto the uh, pile in the middle. And then a door will open on the other side. On the other side, it's over there. So this level is just about killing some enemies. The save. Pick up some uh, Uzi ammo. Some. We pick up a revolver, which we already have, so I think that counts as uh, ammo. We got that in the uh, second level, and I think it was the third video, but it was the second level. If you don't count balance towers, because we we're only there, we were only here for uh, a brief amount of time. But anyway, shoot these knights and the uh, lizard. The lizards won't poison you, so don't worry, but the spiders, they can. Go on, die. Alright, we're out of ammo for that, so let's use the revolver, I think. There we go. Let's save. 
And since we're close to the end of the uh, track, I think I'm just going to wait here. It's not going to be long until the uh, next batch of enemies spawn. There's two uh, batches of enemies in every area that we go to. Here come some spiders. Oh, I'm poisoned. You press uh, 9 or 0 on the keyboard, it will give you a med pack. Which is nice. Usually I wouldn't go to the... Uh, use that shortcut, I'd use the inventory. But... Since it had to be quick, I pressed... Well, I think I pressed 9. To use the larger one. But, you know, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. This is not a uh, no med run, I'm not trying to hide it. Pull the cross back. And then just jump up. And I was supposed to grab the edge to avoid that little bit of damage, but it doesn't matter. We have plenty of med packs. But there's another one right here. That's actually called a file of uh, life, but I, but, I, but I do keep saying med pack, so uh, forgive me for that. This is a uh, explosive ammo. Finally. And this is a uh, more explosive ammo. And if you come in here, there's going to be a dog and uh, two dogs and one of these big spiders. This time you can use your guns, so we're okay. It doesn't take that long to kill, so uh, yeah. Now what we want to do is you see the um, two red lights, red squares on the end of each pillar. We're going to put them on the green tiles so that the red ones form a square and I'm pressing it the wrong way. Call it lava, not push it. And like I said, I can't, you know, hear the audio when I'm doing the commentary, so I don't know when the uh, fires are going to spawn. But they're spawning at the end of the track as they did before. Why not? Let's get out the explosive ammo. Have some fun with the guys. Oh no! Okay. See you guys back up there. So yeah, just see the uh, enemies. Again, press the block onto uh, the, the white green tile so that the red squares form a square. It's that simple. And when you put it onto the right uh, place, you will know because um, red beams come out either side and I'm going to wait here for the uh, guys to spawn and I'm going to just use the uh, revolver I think save come on there we are Oh, I'm out of ammo. 
This is the last, uh, I think that's the only other game now, so uh, I think we're all done in terms of enemies. So there's a bonus level, but like I said, we can't pinch the sims because it's standalone, we can't use any of the ammo that we've got in this level. So we might as well waste it all now. So let's push the uh, thing onto the respective green tile. beams coming out. That is how you know that it's on the right tile. I don't think it does that when it's on the wrong tile. So let's pull the block out and get Cosman out now. There's not really a lot I can say here. So uh, that's what I'm doing and uh, just do that. And uh, one more. This is this is the one where you have to pull the furthest. I just like to say, if you're uh, enjoying these videos, if you would uh, leave a comment below and let me know what you think, that would be. Uh, Awesome. Let's pull this all the way out and it is going to take a while. So that's what I'm doing while I get up the uh Push it out and uh, you'll complete the square. I'm trying to add up the uh, page on my phone, but it's not able to do it. Let's not find it. Look at the. Uh, just making it about story, but I can't get it up. Here is the uh, large med pack that you don't really need because now I just put the uh, stone on this guy's uh, fry dump thing and that. We'll open up the uh, gate I mentioned earlier. As you can see, it gives us quite a bit of a flyby. It's good how this level kind of uh, 
expands and there is the gate and you may recognize this door right here I didn't point it out here but we did pass by it earlier time to go through it and that's where we're going to be ending the game slope or the ramp or whatever you say and just sprint here just to save some uh, seconds and here comes the shopper once the shopper lands the uh, the level will end. So, yeah, thanks guys and goodbye.